a month ago. And it's just kind of, you can have an open door policy looking in. And there's so many people that I've spoken to that have said to me that they, they wish they had carried on art at school or that they felt that a door had closed on them. Um, so I really wanted to kind of give, provide an opportunity for people to, to say, hey, actually you can do this. So I started this literally from a little seedling. It's just been something that was sown in me when I was on a retreat last year and I was reading a book about the foundings of the Impressionists and their journey and their setting up in Paris. And it really struck me that there's the ability to just start something from scratch and that there can be a really big movement. I'm really am passionate about providing a space for artists. So people that haven't got the space, um, I really want them to come. So it's basically, it's rent free. The whole concept is that um, to create the recognition in the area is that you would come in and work for free and basically just create work but to give back one hour of your time every week in a pay it forward kind of concept to some students who will come up to learn about the artist, their style, their thinking. So the way that you can express yourself through a medium that's static um, has always been pretty um, intriguing for me. I think the main thing is how I can express a personality. It was just became quite a passion to be able to give a voice to somebody and, and how people can explore that within themselves as well and, and art as therapy. Being able to pass that on and over to other people that are struggling to come to terms with something like maybe a death or an act of violence that's happened to them or, or something that's in their life that they're not unable to, to demonstrate an awareness about, I, I find that it's something that's, that's powerful. <laughs> Yeah, he actually put this joy of, of love, of art, into me and um, it wasn't until a little bit later I realised he was actually a Kiwi. <laughs> he was, you know, bringing me up with lots of different ideas and, and sort of putting in a lot of uh, Māori kind of ideas into the art as well. So back there in little old Essex I was getting a little bit of a taste of New Zealand. It was, I came over with my partner and um, he had family here already. I was looking around the landscape and I thought, this is really, really familiar. It really looks like the books that, that were get come back from Australia. And then I found out that it's actually not an Australian book, it's actually Footwork Flats. <laughs> so I grew up actually loving Gisborne <laughs> before even setting foot here. People that have been um, sort of just coming up, just popping in and coming through the door, and um, and then you know, this, this, the more you look, the more you'll see. Rather than relying heavily on printed media um, and found images and stolen images, um, I want people to be able to really understand that images, that paintings are a creation and they need to be created solely so that they've never existed before. We're working towards exhibitions and there's also, you know, the possibility of, of selling the work and you know so that then can fund the, um, the fees which is really good. here to experience art and for you to feel that there's not a door that's been shut on you at any point and um, art is something that you can start anywhere and then start to flourish. Our motto is from small acorns grow mighty oaks and I just want to instill this into people 
that there is no way that you can just cut things off because you've never tried it. This is the motto that we have is from small oak acorns grow made of mighty oaks. Oh, I do that again. <laughs> this is our slogan and I'm just taking it up. <laughs> take, take two.